By the way, if you think you're getting any of my popcorn, you're <laughs> gravely mistaken. Gravely. Do you think you can go on a date with someone and not share popcorn? Oh, you're gravely is this, mistaken. Is this a date? Gravely. Is this a date? I don't know, Larry. You tell me. If you share the popcorn, it's a date. All right, well. Thank you. If you must. I get a little bit nervous. Huh? I'm nervous. It's friends and family. You got nothing to worry about. It's the easiest thing you'll ever go through. And aren't you, uh, aren't you shooting another one? Mm. Right now. Very busy gal. Busy gal? Yeah. I'm like uh, Rachel and the Rug Merchants. Who? Rachel and the Rug Merchants. What's that? It's like, it's a famous Old Testament Jewish parable. Rachel and the Rug Merchants? Have you never heard of it? Never heard of it. Call yourself a Jew? What's it about? It's about Rachel and Rug Merchants. What, and what happened? Did she get cheated on a rug? Didn't she have to return the rug? Did they give her the wrong rug? Was there a stain on it? I mean, there's a many possibilities no, for what no the stain story. No, stain on the rug. Uh-uh. Was the rug too big for her tent, and she got the dimensions wrong? <laughs> Was it about her relationship with the rug merchant? Did she have an affair with the rug merchant? What happened with her and the rug merchant? <laughs> You like to eat a lot of fruit in your movies. I mean, we're only halfway through this. And you've already eaten a cantaloupe and nectarine and some mulberries. In fact, now that I think about it, didn't you eat a lot of fruit in Anatomy of a Scandal? What is that? Is that part of your process? You take a bite, you act. You take another bite, you act. I'm just trying to watch. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Excuse me? Have you seen an 11 year old boy? Oh, look, yeah, you're doing it again. Like a, a black and green checkered shirt. Shh. No, I'm so sorry. You've been missing for like three hours. I haven't seen him. Sorry. Oh, my God. Johnny! Hey, Chief, what's up? Johnny! You're talking to me? Yeah, kind of like pow wow. Look, what's your problem? My problem? I don't have a problem. Your problem is that you're way in my area with your jacket. No, no. That's where your jacket belongs, on the back of the chair. It's my chair. Ew, so I can put it on my world. back. Just leave it alone. This is draped beautifully over the back of my chair. It's not disturbing anybody. Shh. It's draped like yes. you're giving me a lap dance. Oh, please. Okay. Everybody knows that a jacket goes on the back of the chair. You drive a car, you could drive into every lane on the parkway. No, huh? no. I'm married. I can't just go to the mall and I fuck know. any woman I want. Shh. Both of you, stop it. Why don't you put it on? Front of his jacket. Front? What an idiot you are. His neck is gonna be on my jacket. You my jacket's gonna be on his neck. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Both of you, shut up. Sit back. Just put it on the It's enough. Well, we'll keep an eye out. Don't know that, and I can feel it. I can feel it. Daddy! By the way, you're very good. It is for us, rather, to be dedicated here to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion. For which they gave their last full measure of devotion.